What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Yoka TV KB2 from Android version 6 to Android version 7.1. So what you're going to need for this upgrade is a computer, Windows or Mac will do. I'm using the GPD Pocket which is Windows 10. You're also going to need a micro SD card. I'm using this standard 8 GB Kingston. Um, I think you can use up to 32 GBs of whichever brand you like. So yeah, you're going to need a micro SD card and a card reader. Now the upgrade itself is going to be done via micro SD card only. You cannot do this upgrade with a USB drive. You will need a micro SD card to do this upgrade. So for the first step, you need to go into the link description and download the firmware. Now, here it is. I've already downloaded it to save time. So here is the firmware. You've got it here. It's in a zip format. What you need to do, first of all, is extract it. So extract the firmware onto the desktop. So let that extract. Meanwhile, get your micro SD card and plug it into a card reader and connect it to your computer. So I've extracted the folder. Open it up. So you'll have this folder afterwards, the KB2 Pro OTA. Drag that onto the root of your memory card and let that copy all the way. This is the contents of the folder. You've got four files within there. And just to show you, I have the same on both sides. So these are the files you need to copy over to your memory card. So that is it. So we no longer need the computer and we also no longer need the card reader. All you need is the micro SD card. Plug that into your Yoka TV. So my Yoka TV is already booted up. It's ready on the desktop. So now what you're doing is going to apps, clicking on update, and you'll get the screen. Go to local update, and you can see that the firmware file has automatically been detected. Click on it again, and you'll be brought back to this screen. Click on wipe data and wipe meta. And then all you do now is click confirm, click update. And now the TV will reboot and the update will begin. Whilst updating, it will first erase and format the data and then it will continue and complete. However, if you get an error like me, don't worry or panic. All you do is look at the top of the screen. You will see lots of options. Just click on apply the update from EXT. Don't click on anything else. Then click on update from SD card. Then you'll see the contents of your SD card. Look at the firmware folder and open it. Then you'll see the firmware zip file. As soon as you click on this zip file, the update will begin immediately. So it's now updating. Ignore all the text. You can see the progress bar at the center of the screen. Allow the progress to complete. When the progress bar gets to the end, that means the update has completed successfully. Now all you need to do is click on Reboot System Now from the top and the TV box will then reboot into Android 7.1. So the update is now complete. I have successfully updated the Yoka TV KB2 Pro onto Android 7.1.1 Nogart. Now let's find out what difference this upgrade has made in the performance of this TV box. So the DRM info shows Google Widevine level 3 support and CPU-Z shows that this box does still come rooted as standard. And in the Anti-2 benchmark test, we got a total score of 41,751. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2017. And as you can see, the updated 7.1 version of Yoka TV has taken position 12 with quite an impressive score of 41K. Are you surprised by these results? Let me know in the description box below. Furthermore, you can view this full chart at chickstech.com and read it at your own leisure. So there you have it guys, that was my step-by-step -step Android 7.1 upgrade video for the Yoka TV KB2 Pro. So I have thoroughly tested the 7.1 on this box and I am pleased to say that everything works very well with no issues or bugs. To be honest, the performance of this box feels exactly the same as version 6. However, when opening the apps, I do feel it's slightly faster. But more importantly, Yoka TV has provided us with Android 7.1 update. And it's always better to be on the latest and greatest version of Android. And it's always nice to see a company support its existing products rather than keep releasing new models. So big thanks to Yoka TV for that.
So I hope you find this tutorial useful and easy to follow. And with that being said, I will leave the download links for the firmware in the description box below. And I'll also include the links for the Yoka TV box itself in case you want to check it out. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.